Okay, right now I'm going to start working with the refill on the go to bed command. All right, now this command is great for when you're, you know, making dinner, eating dinner, watching TV, you know, stuff like that. And you just want her to be somewhere where you can see her. Okay, but not that she doesn't have to be in the kennel. Okay, so what I'm going to do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to take a treat. I'm going to toss it behind her. Aretha, get it. Aretha, go to bed. Good, and I'll wait her out for the down. Yes. And I'll drop some treats. Aretha, stay. Okay, this is just for food. So I'm going to put some food down. And the little teeny handfuls, like five or six at a time. Yes. Right, so it's just short intervals. Yes. This is teaching her that if she just stays here, that good things will keep coming. Yes. I'll leave her to stand up. And I'll go back down, I'll treat her. I'll stand over, I'll move over this way, I'll move back, drop some treats. Slowly I'll start moving to, to where I can then start walking around. Good, I'll do the same thing again. Hey, Aretha, get it. Look, Aretha, go to bed. Yes, look how fast I got down on that one. That was really good. Okay, yes. And now I'll wait, I'll wait five seconds for a treat. Yes. Right, and then I'll start to, I'll increase the duration in between treats. Yes. Good girl. And then when I'm done, what I'll do is I'll tap on the head, release, and now she, if she wants to stay there, she can, but if she wants to move around, she can too. It's just letting her know that I'm done giving commands. And also, there, it, it, it creates a start and then an end, okay, or a beginning and an end. All right, you, you, you want her to wait for the word so she doesn't, so she doesn't break. Okay. Now, if she were to break, I would just <clears throat> ask her to do it again. No, I wouldn't treat her though right when she goes back down because I don't want to. I don't want to reinforce the bad behavior. Okay, very good.